Okay, you ready? Okay. Hi all, and welcome to a mini version of me on my juice box. I saw the headline, I thought, I've got to just have a kind of a mini right to reply. Here's the headline. One glass of juice a day raises the risk of cancer. That is the front page of a national newspaper. Now, many people in the UK have said, oh, that's the daily fail, and what do you expect from them? When you see a headline like this, it bugs the life out of me. This isn't clickbait. Oh no, none of the, oh, the little headline like this, not clickbait at all. No, this is a genuine scientific study, not designed to scare the life out of people for no reason at all. They've got 100,000 people that they tracked over five years. Now, anybody who's got any kids, right? I only got one, fine, I'll track them. You're tracking 100,000 people. Not only are you tracking them, you're tracking them to tell the truth about what they consume. I mean, seriously? And then the percentage. I mean, they make it sound good, right? They say, well, you know, if you, if you have fruit juice, just one, one glass, of course, just one glass of fruit juice. I mean, one glass of fruit juice a day, well, that's gonna, that's gonna, you increase your risk of cancer by 12%. Oh, 12%, all of a sudden you start freaking out. But actually when you start to really look at the numbers, it says here for every thousand people who consume sugary drinks, 26 would get the disease over five years. That compares to 22 per thousand for those who didn't have the juice. Four, four people. And that's if they all consumed the same thing other than the one glass of fruit juice a day. That's assuming they're all doing the same amount of exercise. That's assuming they've all got the same job, the same family, the same stress levels. So one glass of juice a day can cause cancer. So obviously this video is coming to you from the grave, obviously. I mean, I, I'm clearly, I died a long, long, long time ago. I mean, you can see the amount of juice that I have consumed. The thing that annoys me is it could really stop somebody from from getting involved. The headline is one glass of juice a day. Do you know how many people on social media when that, when that headline came out? Jason, is this true? These are intelligent people that have been juicing, that have had phenomenal results, that feel fantastic. What? what, what so you're just gonna dismiss how you feel and everything you've done. Listen, when I was smoking 40, 60 cigarettes a day, drinking like it was going out of fashion, eating nothing but junk, everything else, I was covered with much food in a skin disease called psoriasis. I had severe asthma, severe eczema. I was severely overweight. I stopped doing those things and I started to have freshly extracted juice and do some exercise. It's not rocket science. And I feel okay. I just turned 50. I feel pretty good. Fruits and vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, lean proteins. That's what I've always said. You can't go wrong with these things. And if you can't eat them, can you drink them? And anything that discourages anybody from having more fresh fruits and vegetables when another study will tell you that we need 10 portions of fruits and vegetables a day in order to cut our cancer risk by nearly 40%, which thwarts this little 12%. And then you go, oh, well, you believe that study, Jason, but you didn't believe this study. Oh, it's very cherry picking. But the point is we all know that fruits and vegetables are good for us. We all know it doesn't matter what methodology we have to get them in. And this is the point. They didn't do this on freshly extracted juice. And that's the thing that bugs me more than anything else. They never do it on freshly extracted cold pressed juice. Whenever they do a study, like glycemic index, that was a big thing years ago, wasn't it? All of a sudden, oh, what's the GI of the food? Oh, freaking calm down. But the studies on glycemic index was always done with cooked apple juice. And you're going, cooked? What do you mean cooked? Pasteurized, it's cooked. That's it. If you apply that amount of heat, you've cooked it. You cook it, you start destroying it. It's the same with any live thing, including food. I'm not saying never have cooked food or anything else, but what I'm saying is if you take something like a live natural juice and you start cooking the life out of it, do you think you're gonna bastardize it to some extent? Yes, so it might have a negative result even on this crazy study. Even if the study was true, it's on cooked processed juice. And you start to look a bit further down. These are throwaway right towards the end of the article, which no one's gonna read, of course. Um, Dr. Graham Wheeler, senior statistician of Cancer Research UK, no less, warned that the study assumed a link with cancer and this needs further research. Why don't you just say it's bollocks? That's what they're saying. It's actually BS. It's just, we've got some clickbait and we've got some headlines. Anyway, I had to jump on my little juice box. Look at the whole series of, of me on my juice box. It tells you all about the fiber. It tells you all about sugar and everything else. You haven't got that, but anyway, I just want to get that uh, off my chest. Uh, and I, th I think I have. Yeah.